All right, guys, so if you know, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that I have moved. Yay! And, um, and I wanted to journey or chronicle some of the things, some of the things that we're going to do as far as upgrades to the house uh, that we got here. So we are officially moved in. We've been in for about four days now. And um, upon moving in, we already knew there's going to be some things that we were going to change out or do to the property um, upon moving in. Now, of course, some of these things are not things that have to be done. It's just things that we want to be done just to make it our own and our perfect house. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to start with doing is our kitchen. So let me just give you a broader view. I'm going to come from behind here. So this is our kitchen. Let me give you a broader scope. Um, yep, give you a broader scope. And so upon moving in this one, baby, we was not, or, or maybe me, I was not a fan of the kitchen cabinet. So the very first thing we're going to have done is have the kitchen cabinets refaced or repainted. Um, we're probably going to go with a neutral, um, neutrally white kind not stark white but like right at like an ultra white color so we're gonna have those things the cabinets repainted because i was not a fan of this okay so that's one of the things we're going to do the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out that light fixture it is huge hideous and a monstrosity so we're gonna have that light fixture come out, take it out, and we've actually already purchased the recess, reset lights, recess lights that we're going to use up there. So we're gonna take that out and change that out. And then we're also gonna re change that light out to, to a recess light. And then this ugly bugger we are going to take this sink out and we're gonna change it out with a stainless steel sink, um, which we actually have over there as well. It's sitting there waiting to be done. So we're gonna change that out to a stainless steel sink and then um, that should be done as far as that. And then the last thing we're gonna do in the kitchen is we're gonna add hardware, the hardware to the kitchen cabinet. So. We already got the hardwood. So these are the handles that we're going to add. And so we're just gonna add them down here. And we're also gonna add these handles. These is brush nickel hardware handles that I got off of Amazon for a really, really good deal. And so we got, it's 40 cabinets, 40 drawers and cabinets. So we have a whole two boxes full to get those taken care of. This ad is not sponsored by, this video is not sponsored by Grandma Ye. The husband just has that out right now. So yeah, that's what we're going to do with the kitchen. And once we, we are, we're fine with the kitchen countertop, we're okay with the backsplash. Um, just once we feel like we take out this sink, this ugly ass, light frame that thing and then change the color of the cabinets and then add the hardware we think is going to be complete and of course i'm going to add a, a couple of decor de decoration type things so let me just give you a broader scope so you can see how it looks and see the kitchen is kind of open to the rest of the room so that's how, and then here he go here go my baby hey james okay he gone so yeah, all this stuff will be cleared out, of course, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna come over here. So yes, yeah, there's two ways into the kitchen. And yeah, so you can get a broader scope so you can see. We have all this counter space, all those cabinets under there, all that's gonna get recolored. I'm currently seasoning for dinner. And uh, yeah. So that's it and then um i'm getting we're getting a new table set for the breakfast area this is my old table set from my old apartment so we're going to get this switched out too for the new table set 
and it's going to actually go with it's a countertop we're going to go with countertop table set um for the breakfast area countertop height what's that mean? counter height yeah countertop height for the um table and um, it's gonna be a marble countertop high table. It's gonna be really, really nice, really, really nice table. Ooh, I can't wait for it to come in. What did you say? It's gonna be heavy. Ooh, it's gonna be heavy, I know it's gonna be heavy. But, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna get rid of this thing, this eyesore right here. And we're probably gonna get him a countertop high, uh, high chair so he can sit with us at the table to eat dinner with us. So yes, guys, that's what we're doing with the kitchen breakfast nook area. Stay tuned. Oh, did I forget? I almost forgot that. And we're also changing out that light fixture. When should it be here, babe? It has a set ship? Yeah, it's, it should. Okay. We're changing out that light fixture as well uh, to, it's gonna go with the rest of the lights fixtures in the house that we have ordered as well. So we're changing out that light fixture as well. So, and then this is going to go upstairs in our media room area and we'll use it for, to play games and stuff like that. It's still a really good, nice set, big, I mean, leather, wood. So we're gonna use it upstairs to play games and stuff on that on. So that's pretty much it for the first phase of the redoing. And this really is just the biggest phase, to be honest with you. Everything else is just hardware replacement, things like that, you know, changing our fans, things like that, like doorknobs. Husband did all the doorknobs to brush nickel doorknobs and things like that. So yeah, that is going to be. So let me give you a last overview. Yep. All right, guys, stay tuned. Clean it off. There we go. It's coming down. Oh, yes. Bring it down. Hold it. Hold it. Can we grab that? Can we grab it? Okay, I got it. You let go. Okay. All right, we got my uncle and he is hard at work. <laughs> Working on, I'm filming you. Taking out that ugly monstrosity. The work has started. Let's see if I can turn on my light. You can see better. And there it is in its glory. Stripped down to the wood. And now we're gonna have to, we didn't think it was drywall. We didn't think we got to replace drywall, but we will have to because it is in fact in the wall. As you can see there, it is ingrained. Nope. So we're gonna take that down and get another piece of Why are you always here? <laughs> I'm trying to see. What? Cabinets are down. I'm getting sadness. Yes, hold on, husband. I'm coming. Okay, so I had to do a voiceover on this part. So I'm just showing you here how we've gotten all the cabinet doors off and they have all been painted. And now they're currently drying in my garage. Now if you look a little bit close, we use a tent, a white tent, so it can maintain the veining, the wood veining of the cabinet doors so it can look, you know, more realistic instead of a, like a wash. We wanted more of a stain and let me show you the products that we use we got this from home depot so it's the cabinet transformation complete coating kit it came with all the sets that you need um you don't have to sand you don't have to worry about all those things it comes with the stripping set also the tinting set and also the top coating set so these are the the looks that you can go for and those are the one that's the one i chose so we got this from home depot 
So yeah, this is the, the cabinet transformation bonding code that we used. And as you can see, it shows you what your cabinet will transform to if you use this particular coat on here. So yeah, it comes with a whole set, a brush. It comes with, uh, you know, a whole bunch of things in the set. So yeah, that's it. We have this. So stay tuned for the next video where we reveal our new kitchen. I told you before we were getting a new breakfast table so the new table came in this came from overstock.com I think overstock tables and the chairs came separately then we got this beautiful ring light beautiful little simple ring light that matches with another light that we have in there it is just beautiful and it changes lights it changes lights so if we do you can see it now yeah it's just beautiful we love it and then I got this faux mango tree plant with a planter from Overstock, I think I got the planter from. I'm going to have some moss coming. I'm not finished with that yet, but we're going to fill it up and it's going to be full there. But that is a mango tree that I got from Joss and Maine. I got this from Joss and Maine. I forgot where I got that from. So we'll probably add some accents over here. So we'll come back on that. And then our beautiful cabinets. So as you can see, we went with the white slash off-white cabinets. And it kept the grainy look, if you can tell. I don't know if you can tell. And then we added our hardware. Here's the new sink. And then the show light of them all. All right, so here we have it. The beautiful recessed lights that are in. And we replaced the light that was over there. And yeah, let me give it to you from this angle as well. So now I just need to add some decor and a few other um, ex a few other appliances, and we are pretty much done. I love the white kitchen; it's just refreshing and open and just inviting. Century, and as you can see, we decided to go with full knobs for the drawers, or well, full knobs for the drawers, and then we went with. I fell in love with this one, I saw this one out the top, so we went with for the hardware. So, yes, guys, that's pretty much it. That is my kitchen reno that we've done, and uh, yeah. 
so stay tuned for more. We have a whole bunch more we're going to do. We're working on the office now, working upstairs. My dining room's all finished. I'll give you guys that. And that is it. Thanks for watching.